This is the reason you guys don't have families. This is the reason. You want a housewife without being a husband. You're leading men down a dangerous, dangerous path. You want a good wife? You want a good wife, a lover? You get a job. You do your job as a man. How, how dare you say that a woman should do her job and prioritize her wants to worship you when you don't do a f***ing thing? If you don't provide for that woman, she don't owe you a f***ing thing, dude. That's why good women don't f*** with you. That's why you have a problem dating, because good women know you're not a good man. You're a man. All you do is want to come and a, and a come receptor. You're not teaching young men how to, you know, be fathers, how to be leaders. You're a continuation of the problem we have. You're the reason kids don't have fathers while they go to jail and, and while they have higher crime rates. Because you're a piece of shit. You want women to do their job without you doing your job. But wait, Bradley was not done. And I hope. And it's simple to me because you call them bitches, you know. That says all I need to know about you. And like you said, oh, I don't want a wife. I just want to fuck a bunch of bitches. You think you're a good man? You think you're productive to the community? You think you're helpful to the black community? You think you're empowering the black community with the, with the attitude that you have? No. You're a continuation of the same thing you say holds you down. You're not a good pickup artist. You're not a good dater. You want to come in women and then bail. And that's why women don't fuck with you. You're a piece of shit. Oh, 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 all right. Are you are you done? Good, 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 loyal pussy. Yeah, comes with strings attached. Right. That's 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 what it is. Right. Yes. So true. you tell me why black men mm -hmm. they don't stay with their family? Why? 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 I, I don't know. Maybe maybe we're weak, like you say. Someone, please call nine one one. Tell them Mills would Mike shut down. Welcome back to my channel, mother suckers. Hey, so I've been getting sent this clip left and right. And I said, you know what? Let's bring it to the channel. So here we are. Real high value man drags dating coach. So the whites are making their rounds on the internet. They're calling in to these males with mics. They're calling into these allegedly high value men they're calling into these quote unquote dating coaches and they're letting them have it they're letting y'all have it <laughs> like, i just why y'all letting them let y'all have it like and it's really interesting how these males go from alpha and dominant and high value right when black women call in but when the whites call in or the non-blacks call in you know they're quiet Lips tucked. Them lips was tucked, baby, okay? Lips tucked, smirking, smiling, laughing. Where's that where's that where's that alpha energy? <laughs> where's that alpha energy? A white man called into your show and these clips were edited, but that man called you the N-word and you tucked your lips so far back in your throat, you had no words. And I saw some women on Twitter saying, oh, you know, I get what he's saying, but he should not have used the N-word. That's not your fight. That's not your fight. That's not your fight. He didn't say that to you. He said it to that black man. It was for that black man in that moment to check him. Like, hold on, I'm going to let you speak, but we not going we not going to bring in no derogatory words. We not going to do that. And so since that man called into his show and he let it slide, he let him call him the N-word. He had no smoke behind it. I have nothing to say on that topic. Now, I want to get into what Bradley was talking about, okay? He started off saying, this is why you guys don't have families. I don't know how old this male is, but he looks like an older male. I don't listen to him. Y'all know I don't listen to males with mics. I don't listen to these quote-unquote high-value men. No high-value man that I've personally ever met has addressed themselves as a high-value man. They just say, I'm a man. When you know your worth, you don't go screaming it, right? But let's break this down, because Bradley had me with that first sentence when he said, This is the reason you guys don't have families. This is the reason. You want a housewife without being a husband. You're leading men 
down a dangerous, dangerous path. You want a good wife? You want a good wife, a lover? You get a job. You do your job as a man. How, how dare you say that a woman should do her job and prioritize her wants to worship you when you don't do a thing? If you don't provide for that woman, she don't owe you a thing, dude. Now, Bradley didn't say anything that black women have not been saying, right? We've been saying real basic shit. Men are supposed to provide, right? This is what y'all fathers were supposed to teach y'all. Men are supposed to provide because this is what our mothers taught us. Men are supposed to provide. And y'all jump down our throats, call us gold diggers, call us uh, average at best, right? But the truth still stands. Men are supposed to provide. <laughs> like, that's never going to change. <laughs> now, what really stood out for me was when he said, you're leading men down a dangerous, dangerous path. You're leading men. This is another male speaking to this male, saying you're leading men down a dangerous, dangerous path path now what's so dangerous about this path it's the breakdown of the family he said it he said this is the reason why you guys don't have families this is the reason why y'all on here y'all got these mics look perfect formula i told y'all the mics the headsets the dim lighting the quote-unquote high value advice like it's a dangerous, dangerous path. It really is. Like, and I'm so glad my man don't listen to these niggas. Like, hell no. But they do get millions of viewers. They do get money from other males who watch and enjoy the degradation of black women, right? But look at their lives as an example. They're non-married males. They're hopping from lady to lady. They live alone estranged kids right they have no family all they have is a mic and you know i understand this can be therapeutic for some males but when you sit up on your mics and your dim light and you have nothing but negative things to say about women you should be building you should be building build build your build your brothers up in a positive light Try, get get some resources. Get some money. It's a lot of money. It's a whole lot of money in this mother. Y'all should be talking about getting money. I love listening to men talk about getting money. I enjoy Earn Your Leisure podcast. You have black men up there educating the community about financial literacy, stocks, real estate, buying property. Like, y'all should be talking about getting money. I don't really, I, I can't... <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Y'all sit up here talking about some, yeah, 50 50. Yeah, she got to go 50 50. Yeah, yeah. She is, she average at best. But y'all don't get no pussy. And it shows. These males, y'all don't get no ass. And y'all on here trying to teach men how to get ass. But then men are listening. But guess what? The white's going to come through. And shut y'all shit down. Y'all having a good old party till the whites come through and say, listen, this is some real nigga shit. And that's what he said. This is some real nigga shit. And you had nothing to say. You tucked your lips back and let the white zaddy talk. You tuck your lips back. And I want you to keep them lips tucked. Keep that same submissive energy. <laughs> keep that same submissive energy when you're speaking to a woman, okay? Oh, now that's... You clear up, so true. you tell me why black men, mm -hmm. they don't stay with their family. Why? 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 why, why? I, I don't know. Maybe maybe we're weak, like you say. Listen, Brad ready to go to war for it. He ready to go to war for it. He ready to go to war for it. And don't get me wrong. You know, it's not only black males who don't take care of their families, right? But these men prop themselves up in their dim lighting with their mics and their headsets and they claim to be alphas they claim to be perfect they claim to be the leaders but when they're asked simple questions they drop the ball there's no real answer 
He said, I don't know. I guess, you know, we really are what you say. Like, no, we, we want to know. Because when women ask these questions, y'all just say, oh, y'all gold diggers. Oh, y'all baby mamas. Oh, y'all average at best. Oh, y'all broke. But this is another male asking you this and you still don't have an answer. But Brad ready to go to war for it. He need an answer. <laughs> why? Why? I, I don't know. Maybe maybe we're weak, like you say. And there you have it. Now, he tried to come off as if he was being sarcastic, but he really meant that. Maybe we're weak, as you say. That was his answer. He agreed with Brad that they are indeed weak. Y'all let me know what y'all thought of the situation down in the comment section, child. This was just a hot white zaddy mess. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of that read, honey. Were you here for Bradley saying the N-word? I know you weren't, but it's not our fight, okay? So uh, don't be in the comment section. Oh, but he shouldn't be saying the N-word. Yeah, we know that, but guess what? He was allowed to. He was given the pass, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not finna go to war for it. <laughs> I'm not finna go to war for it. Y'all let me know down in the comment section. See you at the next one.